Well, I mean, I'm a Gemini. I've got to squash the emotions and move on. But the thing is, right, that's the thing. I mean, people, so that's why I didn't even want to answer because you can't change someone's opinion. Like, listen, there are people that no matter what we say here, will poke holes in it. I mean, I don't care. Like, that's my point. Right, but, there's right, nothing to poke a hole right, in. There's nothing to dumb. poke a hole in. And people, so and people are, I think, missing the point that, right, if someone didn't like what they were paid, maybe they should have asked to talk to me, but they never did. But right. When you don't speak to me and you go on another platform and now you're lying that you're not paid, you're paid a clean and now you, whatever it is, however innocent it is, and now it's taking on a life of its own. And now you're doing videos and pouring gas on the fireplace. You don't think that I, that in, every now and then in a comment, I'll say, well, she's a fucking liar. She's li like, I just want you to know I did take the high road and I'm still taking the high road. I have moved on. We have so many. So taking things. the high road, just to clarify, does not mean that you're admitting guilt. And by the way, Completely. I have seen there's no the guilt in it, yeah. of what you paid her and when you paid her and you did pay her. And reminder, everyone, she admitted that she was paid. She just said it was the amount for her cleaning lady. By the way, I can guarantee you, all your listeners, it's probably more than your cleaning lady is paid. So it wasn't like a tiny amount. So let's just stop there. Let's move on. This is a dumb conversation. It's played out. You don't need to say more. I think you're hurt by it. I think she should have, I think she should stop talking and use her platform to what she wants to talk about, fashion, food, whatever she wants to talk about. Leave it at that, take you out of it because she's using you to get clicks. That's all, period. She's Let's using me to get clicks. And not only that, but like everyone's like, you know, is Rachel the new Kim? But like people, I mean, you don't think that like, I mean, you're here, I love you. But you don't think, I mean, during um, Potomac Housewives, Maybe I have an ex Potomac friend of that's going to be, maybe that's going to be the Kim. Maybe for Beverly Hills, I have someone coming on every week. Maybe for Miami, I have some Atlanta. The next time Atlanta's on, you don't think Claudia, Jordan, Kim Fields, all these people I speak to. Kim took a place from a lot of other things that we could be doing here. And everyone says they don't want to listen. Well, when Claudia Jordan's here every week or whoever recapping that season of whatever, I think they might come back. And they're not even gone. That's the other thing. Have like a few people left? Sure. Have have you seen the numbers on YouTube and all? It's up, 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 up. So it's this is your time to revamp what you're doing for Patreon. People just totally. need to be patient to figure out. But it's obviously going to be better. I mean, now you have the opportunity to fill the spot with guest hosts, or you could do it yourself, or you have someone coming on however often you want them to, based on you know the agreement you have with them. So. Let's let's move on because I think it's it's beating a dead horse. It's beating a dead horse. All of this, I just want to say one thing. I will stand okay. by it. All of this is because, and I mean, I will not answer this again either. But all of this, and this is what I was told. You can believe me. You cannot believe me. There's that's not how I operate. I don't care if you don't believe me. All of this is because she told me. That James Leonard, who is Teresa's lawyer, is working and promising for her to get back on the show to film her posh fashion show, October 24th, and that she heard from, none of this even makes sense, heard from Melissa's camp, and they approved it. This is what I was told. You don't believe me. People don't believe me. She wants to try to come after me for saying this. Come on, honey. That is exactly what happened. We can we can call AT and T and pull up the phone records because that's what will happen in the lawsuit, and you can hear the words that came out of her. So the sad part about this is all of this is to distance herself from this podcast so that she can go back on R H O N J. So I'm tossed aside after how many years of a friendship just. Now, she criticized these people. For one year, she criticized people that were desperate to be on the show. She's actually the worst of them all. People warned me about this during my friendship with her week after week. Everyone. So all of this is for a promise. For, Teresa's lawyer is not a producer. He doesn't have the final say. All of this is to go back on for, for two episodes to have the girls show up at your posh fashion show. And then what? It's so sad. So yes, maybe I'm hurt, but it's so sad because you're not going to be a housewife. It's for, for two episodes, for $7,201, whatever the hell it is. It's so sad. I hear you. I, I hear a little bit of hurt in there, but I did that, that was the crux of what we've been trying to get to for 15 minutes here. Um, that right. that is what she said. That's how you feel. And 
you know, it, that is it's a shame always. she decided to move on, but she did. And good for, let's wish her the best and let's move on. And if she still wants to post videos and everyone wants to get riled up, this is the end. Sorry, Rachel. That's the end. No, it's fine. You, but you said you stated your case that, you know, if people still have a problem with you. I think that that's on them. It's on them and you can do whatever you want, but trust me. When Juicy Joe and all these interviews are here on Patreon, you'll be happy. You I'm going to be rewarding the people that have stayed. I think that's that's what Patreon is. Okay. So what else we got? What else are we talking about this week? Well, I would like to talk about the fact that we'll talk about some New Jersey stuff in a second, but I want to talk about, you know, this whole thing with Bethany, because listen, you have gone you know, you had an NDA with Tiger and, you know, that lasted forever. And you've been beat through the system with NDAs. This whole thing of like Bethany's lawyers, Mark Garagos and Brian Friedman made a play and now NBC has responded. I think both sides so far are handling this so smart. Like they're saying, we want you to voluntarily, Bravo, let people out of their NDAs. And you and I kind of thought about this off air, can fight about mm -hmm. it on air now, you know, saying that like an NDA, the point of it is like, you know, if you're working for Kim Kardashian, you're her assistant, you can't interview her new idea for Skims, which is coming next week. You can't, you can't like let that out. You can't let out what's going on. But if you witness, you know, sexual improprieties or, or hazing, or you're spoken to a certain way, or it's an abusive work environment, that really is outside the scope of what an NDA is intended. There's also in this point, a California law, which says you cannot sign away your rights to stay quiet on these issues. So I thought that was brilliant. And now MB, and I'll let you speak in a minute for all your, and then NBC, because then I have another point, NBC has responded and said, said, well, when did we say we're holding people to these? We would never want someone to not report, you know, these improprieties and we encourage people. It's a great response and it's a great, they're both sides, I think, have been great so far. So what would you like to say about that? Well, NBC has historically supported people that feel abused. I mean, during the Me Too era, uh, which wasn't so long ago, men were let go, prominent men from ABC, for being accused ABC of or NBC, ABC, NBC, all the all the networks really okay. people. Um, the, for, for and it didn't even go to a trial. It was just things that you know they heard and people were out. I mean, do you remember how many people were fired or canceled or whatever for things that happened um, during the Me Too movement? So I do. Um, when I say NBC, I'm not talking about Bravo. I'm talking about the news networks. The you know anywhere where, I mean, people were let go without a trial being held. It was really um, internal trials, sort of, right? Internal um, investigations is what you call them. And then they were let go. So they take, uh, companies take,